This is Rothman Tech Tips. I'm here with Josh Barr, a DC-based telecommunication consultant. Josh, thank you for coming on the program today. Thank you, man. I was hoping you can educate me and educate my audience on Ethernet. We all use the Internet every day. Cloud computing is becoming such a big thing. What is Ethernet? So, Ethernet is just a medium or a way of accessing the Internet. Uh, your traditional old school values or old school way of accessing the ether or accessing the internet, excuse me, in the business world is that of utilizing copper. So T1 services, you might have heard of DS3, which is about 45 megs of throughput. Now ethernet allows you a scalable medium to go anywhere from, let's call it 2 to 100 megs or even now, you know, gig E throughput with depending on whether you have the right type of equipment and what have you. So more or less the same little plug that you plug into your computer to get your internet service at home is being used now in the business world for fully scalable solutions. Okay, so you mentioned some of the old telecommunication terms that I'm used to, a T1 connection, stuff like that. I mean, really how has Ethernet come along and, and really how did we go from T1 lines to Ethernet lines? You know, so please tell us about that. So again, it's more of, of a medium. So prior to what we call POTS lines or plain old telephone lines, okay, right. what have you. The old telecom days. Yeah, so Ethernet is one way now that you can utilize phone service. So SIP is the protocol. Um, so we're talking about voice over IP. Yes, or session initiated protocol SIP. Um, mostly now you'll probably hear SIP 2.0 compliant, what have you, for all the new gear that's out there that allows you the full feature functionality of, you know, let's say, um, you know, voicemail to email or finally follow me calling or anything else. Essentially what it does is just like you said, it utilizes data connectivity in order to basically initiate a, a telephone call. So again, Ethernet as a whole is just you know, utilizing one cord for your phone and your data services, very simply put, convergence and telecommunication. So not only for your data, but you're using Ethernet for your voice and your phone calls as well. So if you're a, a road warrior like me, mm -hmm. you can utilize Ethernet or that simple cable for pretty much anything. You can hook it up to your computer, you can have full, you know, video capabilities, phone capabilities, you can actually make phone calls from your computer as well as utilize the internet. So again, as we become more tech savvy as you know, consumers, as users, as businesses, what have you, you know, it's really about embracing the technology, which you know I, I do. I love embracing technology, I know you do. Josh, thank you for telling us about Ethernet. It's really something that all businesses um, if they use the internet, should really look into and investigate as far as get it, bringing Ethernet into their business for their internet service. So thank you for educating on that. Thank Before you for having I, me. Hey, my pleasure. Before I let you go, um, you're a DC guy. You're kind of like a foodie, just like I am. Oh, yeah. And my audience and me are always looking for great new restaurants here in the DC area. Please tell us your favorite new DC restaurant. Don't want to seem cliche, but you know I know we've all watched Top Chef in one way, shape, or form or another. Um, Graffiato has by far been one of my favorite places that I've dined at. I want to say in the last few months. So Graffiato's in Chinatown. So the 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 creator was on Top Chef. That is correct. Yes, and he's opening up I think another restaurant too. Wow. Soon to come. So obviously business must be so good. So for my DC audience, just so you know, there's been some great restaurants coming to DC, but Josh suggests Graffiato, it's in Chinatown, and what, what's your favorite, what do you eat and drink there? So the, one of my favorite things on the menu is the Brussels sprouts. I know it's not, for, I know it's not for everybody, but trust me on this okay. one. Okay, Brussels have, sprouts, all right. Then, secondly, um, the pizza there is absolutely Okay, amazing. nice. And then for people that do like to have a little drink or two, their bar selection and their kind of custom drinks to them, uh -huh. if you will, absolutely amazing concoctions that you wouldn't necessarily think of putting those two things together or three things together, but all very, very good. Well, there it is. You heard it first here from Josh, Graffiato's in Chinatown, great food and drink, Brussels sprouts, pizza, 
and some great uh, drinks there. So Josh, thank you for coming on the program. Appreciate it. This is Rothman Tech Tips.